Hello all, welcome back. So in our Selenium with Java series, we are looking into the framework designing from scratch, right? So, so far we have seen how to create a web driver instance and how to share this across different project files. Okay. And also we have seen how to implement the page object model by using page factory pattern. Now today I'm going to show a bit uh, a step ahead of your driver initialization. It was pretty much working fine, but then why do we need to even worry about the current implementation which we have seen in our previous session? So for that actually, first let me try to go to this code base and I will let you know what is the problem with our current approach. Okay. So what we did, so we have made the web driver getter and setter, right? So I was telling that there will be a get getter and then there would be setter. Now this set driver method will be used by this base test, which is nothing but before class and then throw out your project wherever you are, you need that. What you can do, you can just use the getter method of the page, page driver. Everything seems very much fine, right? But there is a problem actually here. Let me tell you that. And just to un make you understand that, I'm going to make a simple uh, sample method actually here. So what I'm going to do, I'll make another variable. So let me make the same thing only here like how I'm doing here. So let me copy this one and I will create and let's say that instead of web driver, I'm making it as a string and I'm making it as a str. Now what I'm going to do for this, as I told for every getter and setter, we need to have two different uh, methods, right? So one I'm making it as get str and this is my set str. Okay. Simple thing. And then str dot get and then str dot set. That's it, right? Now here, what I'm going to do, I'll put some string str and here I'll say str. That's it. Okay. And here, remove this one. Same concept I have did. So instead of this, let me put it as a string. Okay. Fine. So. Okay. So simple, I have created one getter and setter for a string type, which I was doing as a web driver type. Now here, what I, I was telling you that we need to have a setter method, which will set this particular string value and then the get str wherever we want to use, we can use it. For this, what I'm going to do, I'll create a public static void main, one main method. So here string ox and then I'll say here. How do I do this one first? So what I'm going to do, I will be taking this one. So I'll say page driver. Okay. Page driver dot set str. Okay. Set str. And I will mention something here. QAB box. Okay. Now here, what I'm going to do now, I will print by using the get str, right? So the getter method I will be using now dot get str. Now, when I will execute this particular main method, right? What it will print? It will print the get str method and that will be giving me the QAB box. I have the option or the user has that option to set this str as many as times they want. For an instance, what I can do. So here somebody else will write this one and they can give some other name as well. Now, in this case, when I'm going to do this get str, the value will get changed here. Let me run it real quick. Okay. As you can see for the first time it came QAB box. Second time it came into the QA validation. So these two things are coming in your single run only. Now this is the problem actually, because this get str and set str should be constant across your different, uh, what do you call during your execution. So you need to avoid actually doing this one. So nobody should change the value of this str across your execution. The same problem actually with this set driver and get driver as well, because see now here into the base test, I am doing the page driver dot set driver driver, right? What if someone here will go to this page driver instead of a get driver, they might use the set driver and they will uh, allocate something else. Maybe they will just say that uh, for an instance, let's say that here somebody will say web driver driver equal to null okay now what they will going to do they will call this web page driver dot set driver they can do it so inside if i write this one into a method public void some test i'm making it here and then inside this they can set this driver as well 
okay set driver okay and here they will put this one now this is the problem actually here now in this case what is going to happen base test you have taken the driver which is chrome driver or firefox driver and everything was running good actually but some user they have they have the access actually by using this set driver because we should be using the set driver once but get driver we have to use as many as times right but we are allowing them the user to use this set driver as well so which is not a good practice actually we should be restricting the user to access this set driver method that is the problem actually here so to avoid actually this multiple prints actually here so that the user cannot set multiple times and also they cannot create the object of this particular page driver for that reason actually we need to use the singleton pattern okay so let's understand the singleton pattern now so here what it says is that it ensures that the class can only have one object only. It means that outside classes cannot create an object of that. That is the main logic behind the singleton pattern. Okay. Now if I want to make a particular class a singleton class, what I need to do? I need to perform these three steps. The first one is that I need to create a private constructor of the class. Now why I am going to create a private constructor? When I am creating a private constructor in the same class, no other test cases or no other classes can create the object by using new class. Okay. Let me show you that first. So what I am going to do now at this moment, let me just keep all these things. As we understood this concept, I will be keeping this one inside a comment block. Okay. Now here what I'm going to do, the first thing is that I will be creating a private constructor. Now how to create a private constructor? Just I will give the access modifier as private and I will say page driver. Okay. So page driver. Now simple one empty constructor I'm creating. Now this is just to make sure that nobody else can create a page driver object actually. For an instance, if I go here and let's say this is my outside class, right? Let me just create a class. So I will say p driver, some name I'm giving equal to new page driver. Now you can see it will throw me error actually. Now here you see what it is. It's saying that the page driver has the private access. It means that this is very much private to this particular class only page driver class. That's why we cannot create it. So now when somebody is not able to create a, an object, see these are static for sure. No problem with that. But you might be adding some other uh, uh, what you call stuff or some other like variables or something which is non static that time even you can access it by creating an object right so at the first level we are restricting that nobody else can create the object of this particular page driver class as simple as that now the second thing let's try to understand what it is telling it's telling that you have to create one private attribute attribute is nothing but just a class variable only so you have to create a private class variable of type the class actually so like how we are creating private string str so the same thing now what I'm going to do private page driver and some instance let's say that so what I'm going to do here so in this I will say private okay now here class type what is the class type this is my page driver this is nothing but like string integer boolean all those things so now here I will give instance equal to null so one private variable or private uh, attribute I'm creating. You can call it as a class variable as well. Okay. Now this is done. Okay. Now the second thing is that or the third step would be this one. So here what we are going to do. It's telling that you need to create a public static method. Okay. Now why we need to create a static method. You might say that, okay, you have the setter and getter. You can use it outside, right? That is what actually we want to restrict it. So what I'm going to do this set driver, I don't want to, I don't want someone to access this set driver directly. That is the thing. So that what will happen if I restrict this one, then multiple times, I don't want to use this set driver in any of my files that is the logic actually i'm going to do so here what i'm going to do i'll create a public static now return type what is the return type here it should be page driver okay page driver and let me give it as instance here okay nothing just i will make an empty method actually now here what i am going to do in this particular method 
So the first thing is that I need to first create and access this private attribute. What is my private attribute? Private attribute is this one, right? Instance. So what I'm going to do here, I'll say if instance equal to equal to null now this is the tricky part here let me first write and then i will explain you so here what i'm going to do instance equal to new page driver so instead of uh, because i'm restricting to create an object outside right i mean i have shown you guys already we cannot create this new page driver in my base test right but i can create in this particular class because this is very much private so when a particular method or variable is private i can access that within the same class right so that is the concept i'm using here okay yeah it is giving error because i need to return this instance okay now what i'm going to do after returning this instance don't worry about these errors let's make this one a static as well okay so that this error will go don't worry about this error this is just a warning okay so we are done with my first uh, what do you call first step of this third step to create and access the private attribute now what i'm going to do with this get instance method which i have written it now what i have to do is that all these static methods whatever i'm writing here right i will not make it as static now i will remove this don't worry about these errors because we have accessed that one outside by using the page driver that's why showing this now if i remove this static method there will be two th benefits you will get one is i cannot create an object so if it is not static i cannot use it because i can't uh, create an object of this page driver if I can't uh, access, uh, what do you call, create an object, I can't access a non-static method, right? That's what the pure Java concept. So that is what I am doing here. Now you might be saying, okay, now you are restricting to create an object. So if you can't create an object, how will you access this one? So I will be using this one now. What is this get instance? If you see, this get instance is nothing but this new page driver. So now by using this get instance method, I can use all other methods as simple as that. So let me show you that. So here what I'm going to do in this base test, instead of directly using this set driver, for sure now it will throw me an error, right? Because it is a non-static. Now you might say that the same logic which I just said, right? You will tell, okay, because it is non-static, why, why don't you do this one actually here, page driver? And then now here you will say p driver dot set driver. You can't do that one actually. It will throw you that error actually because it's not, it's a private actually. That particular constructor is made private. Now you see indirectly we are restricting the user to access the set driver. So in this case, what I'm going to do instead of this line of code, which we were using before, I'll write page driver dot get instance I will do. So this get instance is indirectly doing your new page driver. Okay. Now here, if I use this, now you can see set driver is accessible inside this. I can create this one. Now you might say, okay, you just did this much change, right? Why can't you write it outside like this? Let's try it. I can try to access it here as well. You can do here as well. Okay. Maybe you can even do it here also. Let's say that I want to do it here. You can do it. But the thing is that because of this get instance method, the set driver will only execute once only means when you are setting this driver. So let me just remove it. So though you are writing here this one multiple times this set driver by using this get instance, your get instance will only run once. Let me oops, this one, right? Yeah. So this get instance will run once. Why? Because I'm making this statement. So what I'm saying, if this instance is null, then only you create an object. Once you create that object, you can set this driver. Okay. Now, second time, if somebody is doing get instance dot set driver, this if condition will not execute it. Now, if this if condition is not executing, then it won't call this set driver at all. So we are restricting here itself only to access this set driver. Okay, so that is the trick actually here we are using. Now you might say that, okay, now because set driver I have, I'm using by this get instance, how would I access this get driver? Because here this is also non static, right? Now if it is non static, can I create an object and access it? Not really, because of this problem again. Now how do I access this get driver uh, method? 
what you can do here there are two approaches i can talk to you guys so let me show you yeah here i need the get, get driver object right so one option what i can do here is this one actually so i can say page driver dot get instance dot get of driver and i will say dot quit so i can use like this so wherever you need wherever you need the get driver object that time you can utilize this get instance okay now as many times as you need this get instance your get driver will be called sometimes you might say that oh you know this is very long i don't want to use in this approach not a problem so let me comment this one there is another approach what you can do how we were using this get driver as a static right let me create one public so one public and then i will make it as a static actually here so static here i will say page driver okay and i will say get current driver some name i'm giving now here what i'm going to do i will call this get driver as simple as that get instance dot get drive see always whenever you want to access any of the non static methods you have to use this get instance method as simple as that okay let's see what is the error it is showing oh sorry it should be web driver because we are returning the web driver object right yeah okay so now what you have to do whenever you want to access the or get the driver object you want to fetch the driver object don't use this get driver use this get current driver so if i call here instead of this i will be calling this one as simple as that okay so i am making this one is static actually so that directly by this class of class name you can access this one now let's go to here for sure this is get driver right so what i can do here instead of this i will write driver equal to page driver dot get current driver that's it now see what will happen now you might say that okay you made it static now what is uh, what about the set driver see set driver we already made it as non static so by using the get instance method only we can access it and get instance always initializes your attribute once only because of this if condition because of uh, this if condition here that is the trick here now let me change it here as well so i will say get current driver that's it so wherever you want to use the get driver object driver object you just write this method okay so now we have implemented all these three what you call steps to make my class as a singleton class singleton class or singleton pattern we are saying this is purely a java concept actually we are not uh, this is nothing nothing to deal with your selenium you can utilize this particular singleton class in any of the project which is using java there are a lot of different patterns the java developers have uh, come up with different patterns so as you need these things you can utilize it and that's what we have done it now again one more information on top of this now we have created this web driver object and everything by using this singleton pattern right so not just limited to this web driver object you can even any kind of object like for an instance let's say that you want to create the object to read your properties file to read your excel sheet throughout your project so any object you want to create and that object should remain same across your different across your execution cycle that time you can use this singleton pattern there is a trick actually while creating the extend report so we will be seeing in our upcoming sessions extend report for the html report generation that time also we will use this setters and getter with your uh, singleton pattern so that time you will see and that how singleton pattern even can be used other than your driver object creation and this is very important and many of the interviews they might ask you what is singleton pattern where and all you are using so you can say that driver creation and then your extend report any kind of database connection objects or like anything that you want to create only once across your execution cycle that time you can use this one fine okay so that's pretty much it about the singleton class by using the getter and setter hope this session is helpful stay tuned and do subscribe to this youtube channel because we will be seeing some more interesting topics of how to build a framework so stay tuned and thank you for watching